at this college in Boston one time. This uh, pastor, I was going to speak at the church. I said, brother, call some of the colleges and see if you can have a debate. I love to do debates against these guys in front of their own university. Well, he called every college within 100 miles of Boston. There a lot of them. There's a lot of colleges around Boston. And finally, one college said, no, we don't want him to come have a debate, but he can come speak to our students if our professors can ask him any questions they would like. Because we would like to show our students how dumb you Christians really are. I said, I would be honored to come for that. <laughs> so I showed up. There were six professors, all their students. I felt like Daniel in the lion's den, you know. I got my two timelines out over there, and I said, now, folks, I believe the Bible. Nobody cheered. I said, I believe 6,000 years ago God made everything, and 4,400 years ago there was a flood when, you know, everything got destroyed in the, in the flood. And then Noah had two of each kind, not species, kind on the ark. Now, since then, there's been a whole lot of new varieties produced. And then I told them what they believe, because most of them don't know what they believe. You've got to tell them, you know. I said, you guys believe 20 billion years ago, Big Bang, 4.6 billion years ago, the earth cooled down, it rained on the rocks for millions of years, turned them into soup, and the soup came alive 3 billion years ago. This one professor was getting very angry. <clears throat> I seem to do that to them. <clears throat> he said, Mr. Hoven, you realize there are nearly 400 varieties of dogs in the world today? I said, sir, I have no idea how many, but 400 sounds good. He said, do you mean to tell me that you believe all those dogs came from two dogs on Noah's Ark? You want me to believe that? I said, sir, uh, would you look at what you're teaching your students? You're teaching your students that all those dogs came from a rock. <laughs> he didn't have any more questions after that. I did a debate one time in university, and afterwards this lady came walking down the aisle. Boy, she was mad. The smoke was coming out her nose. She was angry at me. She came walking straight up toward me. I said, Lord, I'm coming home. <laughs> she walked up, put her hands on her hips, and she said, Tonight, you told everybody that we believe we come from a rock. We do not believe that. I said, Ma'am, you need to calm down. You're going to blow a gasket. I said, Ma'am, do you believe in evolution? She said, Yes, I do. I'm a professor here at the university. I said, well, ma'am, would you please tell me then where we came from? She said, we came from a macro molecule. I said, and where did that come from? She said, from the oceans, from the prebiotic soup. I said, and where did that come from? She said, it rained on the rocks for millions of years. You could see it was slowly dawning on her. You know, I do believe I come from a rock. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you do. Better be careful going outside. Don't step on Grandpa. <laughs> I found her life verse saying to a stock, thou art my father, to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. There's grandpa right there. Yep, yep. I even found my